we started working on the hallway because with the speed the electrician is working at we really had to hurry up and finish the, the wall so that he could go ahead and fit the, the switches and the plugs, things like that. We certainly had some very awkward and very strange angles to cut out because of the obstacles on the wall. There's the air conditioning machine that we had to fit the, the drywall around. So that was a little bit of a challenge, not too complicated, but, um, but most of the pieces were fairly straightforward. I'm really so delighted with the work the electrician has been doing. I can't get over how fast he works and he's very neat and tidy so um, it's turning out much better than what I had imagined because it's such an old house that a lot of the cables are not going to be hidden in the wall and they're going to be on the outside of the wall with a moulding around them, a casement, so I was a bit worried that would look awkward or ugly but I'm really happy with how he He's, he's done it and he's done a really great job. I'm looking forward to showing it to you when it's all completed, um, but for the moment there's still a lot of wires hanging out here and there and it's a bit tough at night to, to get any kind of work done because as soon as it gets dark we don't really have any proper lighting, just battery powered lights, so um, doing the plastering and things like that is a bit complicated. But, um, but he should be finished up soon. He's already done the upstairs and he's worked down, he's worked his way down to the kitchen. So um, a lot of that is done too. So we think that maybe in a, maybe a week or two, he'll have completely finished the whole house, which is amazing. Nicola did a really good job getting in around the air conditioning machine. There really were a lot of awkward angles, but, um, but he did a good job. We also turned our attention to the windows because there's a lot of prep work to be done. Um, we had the four windows delivered. These windows here are single glazing, so we need to install double glazed windows. And because it's an old house, every window is a different size, so we had to have them custom made. We'll be installing the bedroom windows first, so we took down some of the shutters. Um, in French they're called persiennes, so we took those down. They're entirely metal, and um, so we just needed to take the paint off those so that we can repaint them. So Nicolas did that with the power washer. Although these look rusty, they're actually not rusty. It's some sort of protective paint that had been put on them at some stage. So that makes our life a lot easier. We'll just need to go over the top with um, a white paint.
this was not my favorite job to do. Um, the windows are so high up and there's no safety grid or anything like that. So being on a chair probably wasn't the safest way to do this, but um, still it had to be done. So these are the four windows that we had delivered. As you can see, they're all different sizes because we had to have them custom made. So we'll probably start by installing the two bedroom windows first. That way we can go ahead with the painting and staining and varnishing of the floor. And then that will be two rooms that we can just close the door on and say that they're done. Hopefully by the next video I'll be able to say that the electrician has finished work and that we've installed maybe two of the windows. So thank you so much for watching as always and I look forward to the next time.